All right, so let's take a look at section 3.3 and talk about comparing strings. Uh, you'll see we have equal, remember two equal signs, and not equal to uh, operators, and we'll use those mainly for our, for our string comparison, and I'll give you an example in the next slide. Uh, this, the, if you are comparing strings, they are case sensitive, so very important to remember that. Um, you can use these other, uh, you know, greater than, less than, all this kind of stuff too. Uh, and what it does is it compares them based on their ASCII values. We are not going to get into that. So um, that would look something like this on the next slide and where, the, where we're comparing the ASCII values uh, for each. But for what we're going to do, uh, we'll mainly use... And it depends on how you write your uh, if statement. So and, and set up the conditions. We're either going to use not equal to or equal to. And so where we're going to use that is with a password program. So uh, if we were going ahead and trying to get uh, you know permission to get into our program, we can set up a password. Okay. So we're just asking from the user. Okay, go ahead and input, enter a password. Uh, and then we can have conditions based on that. So we're going to say okay if the password equals that's the way this one was written. Uh, Jeff, which by the way is a terrible password. I just typed it in. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, okay, so anyways, we have that in there. Um, but but Jeff is the password. It happens to be a good name, I'll say that. I'm a little bit biased, but I think it's a good name. Uh, but it's a terrible password. So anyway, so there's that. Um, we'll say, okay, if it equals that, we're going to say, yeah, okay, the password is accepted. Otherwise, using the dual method, we have, um, sorry, that's the wrong password. And nothing else from there. Now, in the next chapter, in chapter four, we'll set up a password program where it'll ask for the password. And if you type it incorrectly, it'll say, that's not right. And then it will let you try it again. And you can set it for a certain number of times before it locks the person out. So it's kind of a fun one to do. Um, so anyway, that, but that's in chapter four. So we'll get to that later on. All right. So basically, we're using... Let me come back over here. We're using the not e or the equal to and not equal to, and we're setting them up to do password uh, checks. So that's it's really when we're comparing strings. That's really how we're going to be using it in this chapter.